we came in yesterday morning and we did a quick look around and there was a lot of you know plaster and dust that had fallen and we cleaned that up and looked around it looked safe and so we had our worship services we had um, two English services and one Spanish and one Chinese service in the church yesterday it was when we came in this morning in the daylight and had a chance to really look around we saw some cracks on the outside of the building on the bell tower and so we went inside and accessed it and we found what looked to be um, possibly extreme cracks and we're pastors we're not engineers so we called our insurance company and we called the Vallejo Fire Department to come out and assess it for us um, they're the experts and they determined that they were severe could be dangerous and as you can see they cordoned off Sonoma Boulevard and they've red tagged our church right now um, until we can figure out how to get um, some of that bell tower down before it falls down and what about uh, some of the services you guys provide? Uh, you, you feed a lot of homeless folks here. Yes, we had lunch today. Um, we had 171 people for lunch today. It's a hot meal that we have. Monday through Thursday at 11, we have lunch. Uh, Sunday evening at 5, we have um, a dinner. And then Saturday morning at uh, 3, we're out on the street with a barbecue with chicken and soup for homeless people and people who are needy and hungry at that time of the morning. What about those services? Are they going to continue uh, somewhere? Well, we just found out as long as it's red tagged, we cannot even go in and get our pots and pans and some propane burners that we have in there out. So we will not be able to serve lunch until uh, the red tags are removed or we get permission to go and get the equipment we need to cook in another part of the church. And, and what about the, uh, the expense and so on about uh, fixing the problem? Do you have any, any idea? How that's going to get handled? We do not have a cash reserve to do that. Um, we do not have earthquake insurance. Most people around Vallejo don't have earthquake insurance, so we don't know how that's going to be handled. We're hoping um, we can work with the city and our denomination might have some resources available. We're going to be talking to all of them this evening and tomorrow. Is there anything else you'd like people to know, or is there any, anyone they can contact if they want to help out? Or uh, they, they can call the church number, 707-644-4064, um, if they want to help out. Uh, we just don't know what kind of help we need right now. If the, if the city can come through and help us take off the necessary part so that it won't be dangerous anymore, and they remove the red tags, um, we'll be back in business as usual.